Hi everyone, welcome to Crime 2 News First at 4. I'm Jane McCarthy. Thank you for joining us. I'm Mark Hanrahan. Tom is off tonight. Questions still linger today after a deadly stabbing outside the 7-Eleven in downtown Spokane. Court documents revealed a quote, large machete knife was used to stab the victim. Many of you are asking if it's even legal to carry that kind of knife. So Crime 2's Amanda Rowley set out to verify. The stabbing that happened at this 7-Eleven on Tuesday left one man dead and another arrested for first-degree murder. We learned from court documents the suspect, Andre Conway, used a large machete knife to stab the victim. Many of you took to Reddit asking if it's even legal to carry knives longer than four inches. So we verified this question with Washington State Law and Spokane Police Officer John O'Brien. Right here in black and white is this RCW. It says it's unlawful for anyone to carry any firearm, dagger, sword, or any other weapon that can cause bodily harm with the intent to intimidate others or threaten their safety. In other words, the length of the knife is irrelevant. If you have the intent to cause harm or trying to conceal the knife secretly, it's illegal. Officer John O'Brien says that law applies to the city as well. There are people that will call in because they see a subject maybe carrying a sword on their, their hip or in a backpack. That in itself is not a crime, and we're not going to stop and talk to that person. However, if that person was involved in an incident in the area and they matched the description and that weapon could have been displayed, we will stop and contact that person and find out what their story is. So at that point, it doesn't matter the length of the knife, it's the intent behind it. You're absolutely right. There have been people that have been injured by a two inch knife blade that can be just as damaging as a longer blade. So we can verify it is legal to carry a knife that's longer than four inches. It becomes illegal though to carry any weapon or knife when the intent is to intimidate or cause bodily harm. Amanda Rowley, Creme 2 News.